Hi, I'm Danny from Danny's Do-It-Yourself Garage. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you some maintenance you should be checking at least once every six months to avoid costly repairs. Some of these things that I'm about to show you should be checked monthly. I'll be doing this on my 2009 Honda Civic, but these procedures can be applied to most vehicles. These are do-it-yourself jobs and can be accomplished without any automobile knowledge. Also, you'll save a bunch of money. Let's get started. First up is the battery. Most batteries are maintenance free. However, if it has caps like this one, you'll need to remove the caps to check the acid in the battery. This one has a bracket right over the caps. So I just need to take a 10 millimeter, loosen it up, move it over, and then I'll just take a flat blade screwdriver, pop open the cap, and check the acid level. This one looks fine. You want that acid level to be above the plates right here. If it's not, you'll want to put some distilled water in there to make sure the level is proper. Now, if you look at this battery, it's from five of 18. At the time of this video, it's five of 2023. Now, my battery has lasted five years so far, and it's still running strong. Now, batteries usually last three to five years, that's it and I'm already at five years. So checking your battery acid level definitely will prolong the life of your battery. Also, make sure you wear gloves and safety glasses when you're checking this. If you need more information on your battery or your charging system, I do have a video on that. This is on my YouTube page and I'll link that in the description. But for now, let's move on to the next thing, and that's our power steering fluid. Now to check the power steering fluid, the car should be on a level surface and the car should be cold. Now, once it is, you wanna look at the lower line and the upper line, and the fluid should be in between that. Also, I like to pull the cap off, put a screwdriver in there, and just pull out some fluid and see the condition of it. If it's not clear, a uh, light brown, then you may need to replace that fluid. If you need to know how, I have a video on how to change the power steering fluid, and I'll link that in the description at the end of the video. Next up, let's just do a quick oil check. Now this should be done probably monthly, especially with these older cars. And to do this, simply pull the dipstick, wipe it down, reinstall it, and check the level. So it should be in the middle of those hash marks and the oil should be, you know, light brown again, and it should be cold on a level surface. Next up, I'm gonna check the transmission fluid. And to do this, you're gonna drive this for about 10 minutes. You'll come back, park this on a level surface, shut the key off, and wait 60 seconds. Then, there's a yellow loop down here. Go ahead and Pull the dipstick out. You'll want to wipe it off and then reinstall it. Then pull it back out and check the level. What I also like to do is I like to put it on a white paper towel to see if it's black or red. This has a little bit of black in there, but mostly red. The last thing I need to do is smell it. Give it the smell test. And when you give it the smell test, you're trying to smell something burnt. 
Mine smells actually pretty good. Um, I am going to change this. And also, if you need to know how to change your transmission fluid, I do have a video on that that I will link um, at the end of the video and in the description. I also have a video on changing the auxiliary filter, which I also recommend. And I'll go ahead and link that video in the description. Next up is checking the condition and the level of your brake fluid. Over here is where the brake fluid reservoir is. And I put a bunch of paper towels down here because brake fluid will damage your paint. So just go ahead and turn that counterclockwise. Pull the cap off. Set her aside. And then this is the level. And it's filled. And then this is what the condition of the fluid looks like. If it isn't a light brown, you should probably flush your system. And if you need to know how to flush your system, I do have a video on that. If it looks good and you just need to top it off, go ahead and top it off. Just make sure you get this cap on correctly. Right there. Next up is we're gonna check our coolant. Now, you wanna check your coolant when the engine is cold. Remove the radiator cap. Put your finger in here. See the level? If the level's good, go ahead and put the radiator cap back on. If the level is bad, go ahead and add a little coolant. Also check your radiator overflow bottle to make sure it has some coolant in there. If it doesn't, go ahead and fill that up. If your coolant looks like it's in bad condition, I do have a video on how to change your coolant and I'll link that in the description. So the last underhood check that you need to make, and it's so simple, I wasn't even gonna put it on the list, but it's your windshield washer fluid. And on this, don't use water. Go to the parts store, pick up some washer fluid, and put it in there. A couple of reasons for that. If you live in the colder climate, it's not gonna freeze up. And the other thing, it keeps everything clean. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up consider subscribing, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.